All right, guys, welcome back to another KevCam night class tonight. Hopefully everybody had a great Christmas and a good New Year's and uh, a much-needed break away from work. <laughs> no, we did, but right, Andrew? Oh, yeah, always <laughs> good. <laughs> but... And uh, for uh, for those of you guys, I got Andrew helping out with any questions or concerns that come up along the way for you guys. Um, so tonight is going to be a very short one. I, I should have grouped this together with our standard grooving, but we are going to be covering angled grooving. And I do see one new name in there, so I'll kind of go through the same rigmarole as we normally do. So everybody is in mute only because we use GoToWebinar, and that's just to eliminate any background noise. Anybody that does have a question, please, uh, there is a questions uh, pull out, and you guys can type those in, and we'll get those addressed right away. Um, and then for those of you guys that are new also, um, we really rely on these night classes just for training purposes for you guys. So if you guys do have ideas, send those over to me in an email, and I will put my email address for you guys in the chat for you, so everybody should see that. Uh, it should be just kevin.rinkle at solidcam.com. Um, for those of you guys that are watching on YouTube, it will be down in the description of the video for you guys. So send those ideas over to me via email and we'll get those added in there. Uh, one disclaimer is, unfortunately, um, the free hat and t-shirt is for U.S. only. Um, international shipping has uh, gotten quite expensive, so we're going to try to keep that just to U.S. only. But... Um, definitely love to see your guys' suggestions and ideas. And then also, every night class is recorded and is uploaded to our SolidCam University channel. Um, so if you guys go to YouTube and type in KevCam or SolidCam University, my ugly mug should pop up for you guys and should bring you right to this channel right here. Um, for those of you guys that want that link, here is the link in the chat for you. That will take you right to the... Uh, the videos portion of the university channel. So a lot of great videos in here. Um, all the night classes are in here. And then there's also some tips and tricks along the way for you guys too. So um, come check it out. And like I said, a great training source for uh, any of you guys out there. All right. So we get the ball rolling here. Um, tonight's probably going to be our shortest class yet. Um, like I said, I should have probably grouped this together with the um, the regular grooving, but um there's just not a whole lot in here um so like i said we're covering angle grooving tonight now with angle grooving um the main operation enables you to perform incline grooves and that's for external or internal the geometry for this operation must be inclined relative to the z-axis of the uh, coordinate system so and what this will allow you to do is it will allow the X and Z to move at the exact same time uh, versus doing, you know, just X moves and then just Z moves. So, um, but with that being said, let's we'll get programming here. And like I said, this is going to be a real short class just because we pretty much covered all this two weeks ago in regular grooving. But um, we'll go ahead and grab our geometry. And I have everything uh, roughed and kind of finished out here. Um, we still have some areas that need to be cleaned up, but our main focus tonight is gonna to be this angle group. So I'll just click on this line right here and we'll end over here. Chain that around. And we'll go ahead and grab a tool. Now for this one, I just did kind of like a, uh, a cutoff tool or part off tool or a grooving tool here. And then what I did is I kicked it over at 45 degrees. So you can see this additional angle right here under the mounting um, where you can angle that tool over at 45 degrees for you guys. So you can see our tool is coming in there right at 45. Hit the green checkbox. All right, our levels, not going to worry about because uh, just our safety distance here. Now get to the guts of thing, the technology section. So like I said, we can do uh, long external or internal. Um, we have the same options as before. We can do a roughing or finishing only. Uh, so we'll leave it set to roughing. And then with when it's set to roughing, you do get the finishing um, toolpath in there if you'd like it. So if you go to the roughing tab here, we can set it to single or we can do constant. So it kind of 
a lot of review from what we kind of went over last week. So I'm going to kind of breeze through this, but so it's going to be going down 40 thou. Um, and like I said, our uh, two weeks ago when we did grooving, um, you can do rows or columns. And then uh, which uh, approach do you want to go? Do you want to do side to side, um, you know, middle to outside? And we'll kind of leave this just as default for right now. And so I'm going to put a 5 thou for X and Z here for our finish pass. And now if we go to our semi finish, we can just turn on our ISO turn method. We can leave it on rest material, save and calculate, and we're done. So you can see we're coming in there at a nice angle, coming in there, cleaning out, out the material. So let's do a simulation real quick. We'll go to turning here and we get zoomed in on our spot that's left over here. So come in there, get the material on the right side, getting the material on the left side, leaving that five thou on the wall for a finish pass, coming in there, going around, and coming straight back out. So like I said, these what's basically going on here, and the only real difference between Grooving and angled grooving is your X and Z are going to be moving at the exact same time for you guys. So, like I said, not a whole lot of difference between the grooving and the angle grooving here. Um, just the movement is basically what's going on there. So, that in a nutshell is pretty much it. Um, like I said, I should have grouped this one together with grooving, and uh, I thought there would have been more in the angle grooving that I could have showed, but. Uh, just not a whole lot here. Um, let's take a look at solid verify. Kind of get it rotated around here. Single step it. Getting that material out of there. And whoop, play it through fast here. And you can see we got that nice angle groove going in there for us. So. That is it, guys. <laughs> I feel bad that um, there's not much here, but like I said, there's just not a whole lot to show with just standard angle grooving. Um, any questions, guys, or any concerns? I don't see any at all. Um, I did have one thing that came up. Um, I think it was when I was doing the the standard grooving last week. Um, someone asked a question about doing transforms in turning. Um, and just quick rolling off my, my tongue, I said, yep, we can do it. And I didn't even put any thought behind it. Um, looking deeper into it, there is no way to do transforms um, with turning. And that's only because um, it's kind of based off of, uh, you know, we're, we're just kind of going off this target line outside geometry here, and there's no way to do a transform on that. Um, I'm going to be talking with uh, development to see if that's a possibility in the future to add that in there. Um, but I just don't, uh, the only thing I can, excuse me, really see is if we had a, a very long bar here and we're doing, you know, multiple parts, but kind of in that case, I would think, um, if we did, let me just see, see if it's available here. Go down to the I have a couple uh, questions there too, Kevin. When you get a second, okay. Um, if you guys are doing multiple parts all in one bar and you want to turn it all at the same time, then we can do our I work offset method and set that so we have multiple. Um, so if we had this one kind of set up here and then another part uh, space farther back, we could set up that um, doing an operation that way, as long as you guys have posted set up for it. But other than that, um, not sure when when the uh, ideal spot would be to use a transform feature. All right, what do we got here? Are there ways to remove stock and like groove like this? Can you plunge down on the side? Yeah, Ben, to answer your question, um, yes, you can. And I kind of covered that one uh, when we did the grooving. Um, if you want to take a peek at that video, but yes, you do have all those options. So. If you want to do side to side, from middle to outside, 
um, alternating adjacent passes. So kind of going from the the middle to the far right to the far left, going back to the middle, kind of spacing them out that way. Um, you can also do alternating across. Um, so you can kind of see, so it's gonna go to the far right side, take its first pass, skip the uh, the width, and then come down to the second pass, and then come back and clean up that one, and then go to the far left side and kind of work its way back. So, okay, thanks, haven't seen that yet. Yeah, so Ben, um, like I said, I'm kind of skipping over a lot of this right here just because I went in great detail um, three, two or three weeks ago when we did the uh, grooving operation, so. Any other questions, guys? I said I want to kind of apologize because uh, I should have grouped this one together with standard uh, grooving, but just didn't even think about it and uh, thought there would be a little bit more here. So, all right, I'm not seeing anything come through for anybody. So, um, what we'll be doing next week is also going to be a pretty short class, but we'll be doing uh, cutoff. Um, and I would probably cover that one tonight with you guys, but with the scheduling and stuff, it's already in the in the uh, the website, so it's too hard to change the website. Um, but this will be another short one, and then and we'll start getting into some interesting ones: uh, manual turning, um, eye machining for turning or tricoidal turning, uh, and then get into some balance roughing. Now, uh, for those of you guys that are in here right now, do you are you guys using an upper turret and lower turret, or is it just upper turret only, or just one turret? I should say. Or maybe I should just ask this question. Do you guys want to see how the balance roughing works? Both, both, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I will definitely cover the uh, the balance roughing for you guys and show you how that works. So it's going to basically, how it works is just the, the upper turret does a roughing and the lower turret does a, a finishing pass for you. So the, the two turrets are working simultaneously together for you guys. But we will cover that next uh, in a few weeks coming up. So I just want to get your guys' take if that's something that you guys wanted to see. Um, and uh, from the sounds of it, you guys want to see everything that's in here. So we'll definitely get that covered for you guys. But other than that... <clears throat> Like I said, not uh, nothing too exciting for tonight. Like I said, I apologize. Um, should have grouped it together, but just wasn't uh, thinking ahead. But uh, we don't have any questions. Um, I think we'll kind of wrap it up now. Um, if anybody does want these parts, just let me know because I have all these parts saved up and um, I can uh, zip them up and send them over to you guys via email um, or I can upload them to Dropbox or OneDrive and then give you guys a link too. So. If you guys are running across some of these videos in the past and want the parts, let me know. And I have started keeping them all, and um, hence why my uh, <laughs> my second drive is getting pretty full. So, but Andrew, got anything else before we uh, wrap it up here? No, no, man. I'm. Uh, this is uh, this is a quickie. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could even understand it. So it's good. <laughs> No, and uh, um, thanks again, guys, for taking the time out of the night and, um, you know, watching these and, and all your guys' input. Definitely do appreciate it. And uh, that I just apologize for tonight. I should have grouped it together. But um, next week will uh, we'll be another short one um, just because we're covering some cutoff. But I want to try to cover as many different cutoff scenarios that you guys would possibly run across. So if you guys do have parts that uh, um, would like to kind of see or – to incorporate in the class send those over to me too and i'll get those added in there but um i guess with that being said guys have a wonderful rest of your week any questions concerns that come up along the way you guys have my email address um you guys have the support number and for those guys um that are looking at sometimes search the site for the support number it is if you go to solidcam.com and under subscription click on technical support And they have the number right here for uh, for you. So if you're looking for 
for the U.S., um, obviously the U.K. and Germany have different uh, numbers, but if you're looking for the U.S., uh, looks like I think everybody on our meeting is, here's our number here. So um, they have a little bit buried in there for some reason, but uh, 866-975-1115, extension 2. That's going to rank to all of our support guys at the same time. So, All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Thanks again for uh, attending the night class tonight, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Thanks, guys. See you.